I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning that God has given us to come in His presence and to meditate upon His Word. For our meditation today, let's turn to the Epistle to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to use, to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Today we will be meditating upon the mouth that does not have any kind of corrupt communication that displeases God. Through born-again experience, we all have received the privilege to be the members of the household of the Lord. Now we, the members of the family, need to follow the rules which are set up by the Heavenly Father. Because God will never allow our sinful nature to disturb the divine harmony of the family. Our Lord God is a God of principles. The heavenly principles are based on the divine nature of our Lord. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God and sin took rule of their life, God drew them out of the garden because the nature of sin can never stand in the presence of the Lord. The environment of heaven is so pure and holy because of the presence of the Lord that we know how the servant of God, John, wrote the words of the book of Revelation. Even the seraphims of heaven adore the holiness of the Lord. Then we who are getting ready to go to heaven, how much more we need to be careful in our talk. In heaven there is no foolish talking that will be an offense for the hearers. The Spirit of the Lord tells us that the words that come out of our mouth must be for the edification of the hearers. We all know about the incident where the judgment of the Lord came upon Miriam for raising her voice against the servant of the Lord Moses. God does not want the harmony in the camp of Israel to be destroyed by their foolish talking. God tells that with Moses, God talks mouth to mouth. And we see that there does not come any undefiled talking from the mouth of Moses. Though he has achieved many things in his life, he never boasts about anything before others. So God demands, God expects the same from others also. If God was strict with the chosen people to this extent, then how much more God is with his children who will be with him for eternity? We have received eternal life through Christ. That means we will be with our Lord forever and ever. So God wants us to be serious about our life, not only in this world, but in eternity also. And our relation with each member of our heavenly family must be in tune with the heavenly nature. No sinful nature should be seen there that is against the heavenly atmosphere. So the Spirit of God warns us in Colossians chapter 3, verse 8, that but now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Here the word of God warns us even about filthy communication. That means humor that does not have any meaning. It may seem a simple thing for us, but these foolish talk is not for a child of God as it does not bring edification to the person before you. God wants our speech to be always with grace, seasoned with salt. Let us examine ourselves. Are we careful about our talk or do we ignore it as a simple thing? Always remember, our talk must be for the edification of others rather than entertainment. So let us pray to the Lord to season our words with grace and purity so that the hearer may be edified and come closer to the Lord. May the Lord help us for that. Let's close our eyes and let's pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful opportunity that you have given us to come in your presence, Master. Thank you for this new day. Thank you for speaking to each one of us. Lord, we are your temple. We are your children. And as we are getting ready to be with you forever, Lord, help us to grow to maturity. Help us to be careful when we talk with others. 
May our words be seasoned with salt, seasoned with grace, so that others are blessed. Lord, in this world, when so many are distressed, hurt, may our words be a comfort for them. Give us the wisdom so that our talk is a blessing. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May the Lord help each one of us to be careful when we talk. And may our words be a comfort for others. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.